He's so intense. He's so intense. I'm gonna wait, see how long it takes before somebody knows what the fuck this is. <laughs> This is super cut of just yeah, well, the yeah, game's group. This is this is just the game's group. This is 100 percent season two, series two of the game guru. Yes, oh, greatest hits. Great. Oh, so he's not in the other. He's in the elevator. I think he was under the elevator before. I think he was only in before. Maybe go there later. <laughs> right. So there's something I never really understood. Right? They asked people to call in with their questions, but the questions were always in text message form. <laughs> I just want to think, if the level of this happened in 2004 when I'd say the last time they even printed a cheat book was, was years before. Like, there's no way there's even people buying cheat books. The internet was like fully there. This was a 100% Sky One just probably getting uh, like a pound, a text or a call, yeah. an eight year old just yeah. writing a phone bill. I think, uh, I think, I think what's happening is that it's only Americans that are up at the moment watching this. So anyone with like, Anyone who lived in the UK or Ireland doesn't have a clue what this is, which is just fucking wonderful. Uh, this is what we had to watch for video game content in Europe. In like 2005 as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, it's 2005, like Game FAQs was probably all around like 15 years before this. this is fantastic. A fantastic CBSI property. That was it? Yeah, it's our partner site, yeah. Okay, can you show us a bit that isn't the game's guru? Because he's oh. freaking me the fuck out. <laughs> Let me see what else you got here. Oh uh, my god, this is freaking There's a full episode. Yeah, go on, do the, what's happening here? Okay, are you ready for this? This is so for bad. Mind warp? This on. is so bad. Okay, we're changing. Okay. We're jumping. We're jumping? Alright. This was on every day. <laughs> this, this show was on every day. They produced this shit every fucking day. <laughs> oh my god. The G Team. I forgot a <laughs> fucking Game Boy Advance. <laughs> So the guy on the left now teaches jujitsu in London, and I don't know what the guy on the right does. What's that say? Eighteen forty-seven. Do your neck. That's my favorite part. Could you do that again? Yeah, maybe. Maybe I can. By the way, James, uh, you have the best headboard in the world. Thank you. <laughs> it's a work in progress. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Game of Thrones, go. I actually got that. I seen that up perfectly. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure. Oh my god. His eye might have just shot out the Konami code. But I could be wrong. Oh, really? No, I don't think so. I think I thought so. I tried to get this PlayStation, so. He's not wearing any shoes. The Guru, I played the original Mario Bros. the other day, and Luigi was identical to Mario, except his green overalls. When did he lose all that weight and grow a few inches? Oh my god. So this guy is probably just like a producer on the show. Oh yeah, he's a show. <laughs> he's supposed to be some sort of, like, prophet? A guru? A guru? <laughs> it just looks like they went into like, a goth store in North London and <laughs> bought a bunch of shit. I think there's like an old Iron Maiden show <laughs> that had some props left over. They just threw them in one of those stars. Or as a Green Reaper Halloween costume. <laughs> Go to a different part. Show me a different part. Show me a review. The reviews are great. Let us know if you can hear them talking, by the way.
There's Matt Tuttle. Where's Imogen? Matt? Imogen's on. Let's see what Imogen is. Yeah, go on. Yeah, look up Imogen. He could be the actually, villain in the next Far Cry game. That's a good shout, actually. Matt, so, Tuttle, was, Matt Tuttle could actually probably do a gen genuine, decent review. <laughs> What? And the game starts off with an evil wizard who casts a spell, and then you get to control a little mini wizard. And the good thing about this game is that he's really into it. He's like, yeah, tell me about your fucking your web your web based two D platformer, please. Like this was like this is this is not like twenty years ago. This is like this is a <laughs> World of Warcraft existed when this TV show was out. Like Half Life Two was out. We were in college. We were in college. Why were we even watching this? It's 2003. Okay, it was just before. Okay, that's good. That makes me feel. Okay. What's this? What's this? This is a full episode. This is the the clip ended for some reason. It's. This is great. Thank you so much. It's great to have 156 people watching us watching Games Guru. Yeah. We could have just periscoped from IMA Pit, but this is this is the shit people really want to see. Oh my. oh my god. Game trailers, mutiny? <laughs> this is definitely like later in the series when they actually do this. Right? Oh my god. Matt Tuttle is still working in the UK games industry. But he's like, he does like. Presenting stuff. Yeah. Yeah. He did one thing for us. Uh, we did. We did a Crisis Three event at the IMAX in London. Oh, nice. That's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. And he hosted it. Dude, I, he had a show called Game Over. It's fantastic. Yeah. I really enjoy it. Yeah, they do it because these people actually they actually know, actually know about Christmas, games. They've probably gone to school. They can present. Yeah. This is uh, unfortunately it was it Jamie and whatever the fucking other guy's name is. Didn't really have a fucking clue about video games, so. What is that? Do you say bring people that know nothing about video games? <laughs> so nothing like today then. <laughs> Review a game, will you? Oh look, he's over there. He's over there. Yeah, no, Jamie and Adam. Oh, yeah, there. Let's see if we actually see one game we fucking know. I don't know. Because they've shown about five games, and I don't recognize any of them. <laughs> Review a chess game! What a surprise it's going to be. And in the mobile pad today, I'll be taking you through two. In the mobile pad. We'll be looking at Rebel Riders, a Devil's Mind, and Robin Hood's Defense. This was 2003! That looks like it wasn't the Lynx. Wasn't the Lynx. It looks like a Lynx game. <laughs> we have trouble making video content today, every day, on GameSpot. How the fuck did these people put a TV show on five times a day? What? <laughs> What's happening? That's not Chinatown in San Francisco. Who? Look at these preview screens of Baldur's Gate on the fucking Nokia. There. Anyone who played Fallout knows this one. It's a two-headed bear. You have to be a GT club. Are you a GT club member? Well, I do have my 50p in brackets 60 cents, so yeah, I probably can join in there. If you text in the Republic of Ireland. There must have been... Fuck. You got a 50 50 shot. <laughs> you could just spend £1.20 and be. Oh, well, face off. Here we go. All right. Let's see what the face off is. Mashed. Never heard of it. <laughs> mashed. PS2 game. Mashed. No, I think I was out of the loop at that point. <laughs> you just made it up, didn't they? If it wasn't Madden Pro Evo or like Metal Gear Solid 2, I don't think I really knew it. You just get these kids off the street. 
He's good. <laughs> It's 50 50. <laughs> yeah, so did they just do this live to tape or something? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is the best edit they had of this. Daz. Where'd the drive poster come from? The internet wants to know. Uh, the drive poster came from uh, T.S. Stout, Tyler Stout, uh, tsstout.com. He's probably one of the, my favorite artists. Cool. He didn't do that one. He did the Assault on Precinct 13 one that is hidden somewhere in there. Not that one. Not the Fonzie <laughs> one. It's not the Cable Bebop 2 one that's hidden. Oh, that's good. Uh, it's not the Psycho one. It is several of them that are around. But yeah, TylerStead.com, his art's incredible, I highly recommend him. Uh, his Star Wars one were like the original one, him and Ollie Moss were. Oh really? Yeah, cool. They're really cool. Is this mashed? Maybe. Look at this UI they've created. This blue and green fucking disaster. Does that mean you're the shark? Because he's there. And he's jumping you. <laughs> I do. I like it when women come in, and like they <laughs> yeah, sort of, yeah, what's that like? They sort of, like, they sort of realize it's sort of like a, you know, as you know me, it's sort of, uh, so sort of case. They see the the Fonzie and they realize like this is probably it. Their life is downhill after they've had sex with me. So that's pretty much. That's pretty much <laughs> the rest of it. To look, to look, get to look at Henry Winkler. Henry Winkler jumping over the thing in his little water skis. Oh, they're, they're playing mashed now. This is, looks like a great, I don't know. Who, look at them shout casting. This used to be, this was eSports kids before, before lol. Mashed. Never heard of this. How many games must have come out on the PS2? Yeah, there's so many games coming out on PS2. Does anyone know this? Mash, I think it's called. The pundit cam. <laughs> How's he supposed to catch up with him? <laughs> Apparently, this is a real game. Master's pretty good. They even did a sequel, really? according to Mr. Han UK. <laughs> is that the DJ from Lincoln Park who's <laughs> watching this? What the fuck is going on? Oh, he's like staying it's behind. Like construction derby meets in the <coughs> Interstate 76. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's fucked up there. <laughs> so intense. Wait, what? <laughs> what happened there? I'm pretty sure in Korea right now there's a whole esports based around Mash. I don't think that mic is connected to anything. <laughs> Listen to the audio. It's like has it got a boom somewhere? They must have a boom, and it's just for show. You know, I've realized as well that they clearly just like shot this in a sky office and just took out the raised ceiling and just yeah, drop a few lights in. They did. Look, listen to the audio with this microphone. Matt talks, and it's just like exactly the same. Exactly the yeah. same. Yeah. Fucking allies. This is great punditry. You know what, actually? Esports has done alright. This is what it was like in 2003. We've <laughs> actually. Oh, it's like match of the day, but for shit PlayStation 2 games. Uh, okay. Alright, say bye bye, James. Enjoy. Go play Mash. Yeah, go check out Gamesville. Yeah. Oh, a review. Actually, you know what? You know what? You know, I like In the that. console kitchen. <laughs> I did like that, Danny. I, everyone was just getting ready to turn off their yeah. periscopes and like, hold on a second, I got a little bit more. It's like a nice little treat. Look at this guy in the left's going to review it.
Oh god. What is this? The Red Star. I think I saw this box. It's on Xbox and the PlayStation 2. You think you remember the box of this one? I think I've, I've heard of this. I've never played it. And I couldn't tell you what type of game it is. The I'm going to say strategy. But it's probably actually, you know, it's third person shooter thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a PS2 game. It's a third person shooter thing. <laughs> The guys behind Mast also made Micro Machines and the Mega Drive and Circuit Breakers on PS1. It was like Cody's, was it? Really? Maybe they did one of the ports or something. Really? Stars out of 5 or 10. That's a good point. We're about to find out. I think these guys are 5 groups. Or did they give like G's? <laughs> they give like, how many G's did this guy? How many groups? How many, how many gurus? <laughs> the best way to oh my god this is amazing <laughs> fucking hell this is cringy let me just check my notes what is this console that it's playing on? It's like some sort of shit Sky One iPad, which only has an on button. <laughs> this is most definitely different strategy, this guy's. <laughs> What's up, James? What's going on, mate? He looks, like, he looks like Paul from Tekken. <laughs> it's, just, it's the British Paul from Tekken. <laughs> he likes to kill people, that's a great thing to say. James seems happy. <laughs> Thanks for the extensive review, James. Go back to Scunthorpe now. <laughs> what does James think about HoloLens? <laughs> <laughs> Jay's divorced with three kids now, folks. <laughs> he works he works at a fucking post office in Swindon. <laughs> it is a dual review. Everyone's reviewing this game. Matt's probably reviewing this game. You're probably reviewing this game as well, I'm James. starting to soak it in right now. I'm sort of thinking, would I see myself playing Red Star? Uh, maybe that's the best way that review should be oh, here we go. Out of 10. There we go. I could have said it was going to be out of 5. I think that's the lowest score they ever give any game on Games Phil. <laughs> it's the best part. What's going on? Why has he got this Irish accent? Yeah. He's like a leprechaun. It's like an Indian leprechaun. <laughs> and he's playing an ocarina. Is <laughs> that Matt Rory? <laughs> this is really terrible. This is really bad, terrible. This is, we are doing like bad mystery science theater here. <laughs> <laughs> Look, look at the microphone. Look. It's amazing. These prop mics are fucking amazing. Yeah, let's review chess. The oldest video game of them all. Like, like this show is aimed at like, this show is aimed at like eight year olds, like twelve year olds. Why does it chess? Yeah, she wants to play mobile games. Alright, I think that's it. Yeah, let's go, please. Alright, let's go, Ed. Adios, people. Enjoy. Adios. We love you all. <laughs>